Hello everyone. Today our group will explain experiment about magnetism. Alright, I would like to introduce to you our group member. The first one is Nurdia Anisha Zwani bin Abdul Razak. The second one, Nurin Ashura binti Muhammad Azli. And the last one, Fitri Ain Nabila binti Rasmadin. Alright, first and foremost, I will introduce to you what is magnetism. Magnetism is a fascinating invisible force. It influences the environment around it. A magnet is a material that can pull certain types of a metal toward itself. Unlike many other forces, magnetism doesn't have to touch the objects it affects. Gravity is also an invisible force that acts as a, at a distance. Alright, next, I will explain to you what happens in a magnetic field. Magnetic field is the area meaning which a magnetic force acts. Substance that are magnetic are attracted to the magnetic field. Magnets also influence each other. So there are two opposite poles will attract each other, while two poles that are the same, which is two north poles or two south poles, will push apart. The magnetic field is invisible, but it can be seen indirectly. Iron fillings placed in the magnetic field will show where the less, where the lines of force lie. The iron fillings and compass provide indirect evidence of a magnetic field from which a diagram can be drawn to represent the force field. From the previous slide, you can know that the magnetic field is invisible, but we can still see it by placing the iron filling on the magnet. So, what is the magnetic field lines? It is used to present the magnetic field. It will leave from the north pole and enter the south pole of the magnet. To see the example, you can see it through the diagram that shown on the screen. We move on to the next part, which is how magnet can be attracted. As we know, magnetic field has two poles which is north and south. If it is like both, north will meet with north and as a result, it will repel each other. The second one is uh, opposite poles. Uh, for opposite poles, north pole will meet with south pole and as a result, it will attract each other. Firstly, we need 3 to 7 paper clips. You can add more if you want to make even more a long chain. We also need magnets that we put 5 magnets together to make it become more stronger. Okay, for the first step, we will begin by trying to attach paper clip with another paper clip to form a chain. Do this by holding one paper clip and then putting it to another paper clip. You will notice there is no way the two paper clips will attach or stick to each other. Next, we will try to attach the two paper clips again by the helping of magnet. First, we will try to add to stick one paper clip to the magnet. As you can see, it attached itself to the magnet. Secondly, you need to slowly add a second paper clip to the bottom of the first one. As it may take your time because you need the magnetic force to pull the second paper clip up to the magnet. Now you get the second paper clip to balance at the end of the first paper clip. So now after you have stick two paper clips together, you may keep trying to add and stick another and then another paper clips until you have formed a long paper clip chain. After you have formed a long chain of paper clip, try to remove the paper clip chain from the magnet. To do this, you need to pinch and hold the first paper clip and slowly pull the magnet away. Now you will see the paper clip chain will stay together as the paper clip will become the temporary magnet and still stick themselves to each other. Now, I will explain to you a little bit about the experiment. When the paper clip is attached to the magnet, the magnetic force from the magnet is transferred to the metal paper clip. Then, once the paper clip is become magnetized, you can attach a few paper clips together to form a chain. The stronger the magnet, the more paper clips can be stick together. 
in the experiment, after the magnet is removed from the paper clip, we can still see that the paper clip will stay in the chain for about 20 seconds before it goes out to the table. This is because the paper clip has lost its magnetism. When the steel in the paper clip can be easily magnetized, it can also lose its magnetism quickly. This is what we call the temporary magnet. So how does the magnet attract the paper clips? The magnet can attract the paper clips actually because it has a magnetic field that can push on the other ferromagnetic materials. The paper clip is made of a steel wire so it can be attracted to the magnet. This is because the steel that made the paper clips is an alloy of iron and carbon. This made the paper clips a ferromagnetic materials so it can be attracted by the magnet.